Hey, y'all. Just got home about maybe an hour or so ago. I had to go to the soap supply store, pick up some supplies for my wholesale orders. And yeah, we about to make our wholesale orders. The wholesale soap order job for our customers. Um, Miss Billy Morgan is one of the customers. And um, Dr. Patterson out here in Phoenix. I'm waiting on his lot water to cool down. Maybe it'll be cooled down in time after I finish Miss Billy's order because she has two soaps. So then we'll check the temperature on Doc Patterson's lot water to see if I can indeed make his soap on live. Hey, Sharna. Hey, girl. Hold on. I'm trying to share my live. I had to turn my phone off. It was off. Turn it on. It was off and I didn't know my phone was off. I had turned it off to charge it so it'll charge fast and I forgot to turn it back on. How y'all doing on this thriving Thursday, y'all? How are y'all doing on this thriving Thursday? Hold on, I'm trying to share and then we're going to start making soap. We're going to get right into it. If you are in here, type a one and say hello because I can't see you yet. I cannot see right now. I gotta I'm trying to share the live and then I'll be able to send you see y'all see you Sean and thank you for joining me sis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh, this phone is acting slow. Come on. That's because I'm impatient. Yo, oh, hey Chris, there we go. I see some people up in here. Hey Steph. I knew somebody was in here. I just can't see it when I'm on my webcam. But once I go to my phone, I can see it. But I'm trying to share this live. And my phone is like being super slow right now. I guess it's trying to get it start together. So we have th uh, two wholesale orders to fulfill today. And um, one is Miss Billy Mar Morgan's. I'm going to tag her in here because I'm pretty sure she want to watch her soap being made. That's the cool thing about my products versus store-bought products. You know exactly what you're getting. You know what's going in your product. You know um, what process. You know how I made it. You get to watch. You get to see. Unlike when you buy stuff in the store. It's absolutely no chemicals or alcohol in my products whatsoever. It's all natural, organic ingredients, so you're getting the full scale of benefits. Hey, Miss Marilyn, let me tag Miss Billy in here so she can watch her order being made. There she go, right there. We about to get into it, y'all. Let me um, click on it so I can see the comments while I'm making the soap. But we about to get right into it. We are making... We, Miss Billy ordered um, oatmeal, milk, and honey, and sensitive skin. So I partially, the only thing I did, let me grab the camera, y'all. The only thing I did so far was add the oatmeal powder to the oil. That's it. Let me turn the light on. Let me turn the lights on. Acting like we paying bills and there we go. And let me check the camera view. Let me check the camera view. See what y'all looking at. It can come a little closer so y'all can see. Let me see, see, see. There we go. Boom. All right, y'all. So here we go. So like I said, Miss Billy Morgan. She is wholesaling. I got my nightgown on, y'all. I came in, took my clothes off, and got right into my comfort clothes. So she ordered the oatmeal, milk, and honey soap and the sensitive skin soap. Hey, Missy. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? So we are fulfilling wholesale soap orders. And um, what that means is I wholesale my products 
to business owners or people who's looking to start a business and they want to sell my products like my soaps, um, my oils, my camp, my um, bath salts, and my body butters. But my body butter is seasonal, so that means I only make it for fall and winter because let me open this oh, coconut milk gal yeah, because the heat melts my body butter. I'm opening this coconut milk. So y'all know I use real organic ingredients in my products. I don't use any alcohol or chemicals and this is coconut milk. This is honey. This is Organic Collider Oatmeal Powder and I've already added that in here that's why the oil looks so cloudy because the, I added the oatmeal to the oil already. So let's get these gloves on y'all. How are y'all doing on this thriving Thursday? Blessed because we are too blessed to be stressed over here. Nothing but good vibes, positivity, and affirmations. Speaking goodness into existence over here on this platform. So that we're going to start with the oatmeal, milk, and honey. So again, like I said, I added the, uh, the oatmeal powder to this already. So I'm just going to, let's start with the honey first. I'm going to add the honey to the batter. Put some honey in here. So what this soap does is good for normal skin, but it's also great for eczema. It's great for skin irritations. Like if y'all familiar with the Aveeno products that you buy in the store when you have a skin irritation, this soap is the same thing except better because it has no chemicals, no alcohol all natural ingredients and you can clean yourself and it's going to moisturize your skin. So that's the honey. And now we're going to add some coconut milk. Ooh, splash, splash, splash. We're going to add the coconut milk. So as y'all can see, I use real ingredients in my products, y'all. These are honey bees, and we're going to decorate the top of the soap with that. This is the uh, oatmeal, milk, and honey fragrance, and it smells like jurgens. So we're going to begin to stir this around, and before we add the lye water, we're going to stick blend this a little bit to make sure that all the ingredients is mixed in well and incorporated. How is everybody doing? All right, so we making oatmeal, milk, and honey, and we just gonna blend these ingredients in here before we add the lye water. Turn this up just a little bit. There we go. Nice and smooth, no clumps, no lumps. Yes, Hunte. All right, that's what we looking for. Nice, smooth, no clumps, everything well incorporated and mixed together. All right, lay this to the side here. And now we're going to add our lye water. Let me make sure I ain't missing nothing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I put the oatmeal, the honey, the milk. All right. So we're going to add our lye water. Into it. Going to stir it around with the spatula. And we making ha handmade, homemade soap, y'all. That's better than anything you're going to buy in the store. It's great for eczema, psoriasis, sensitive skin, normal skin, 
children, infants, adults. So healthy for your skin, so much better. Because it has absolutely no chemicals or alcohol in it. All right, y'all, let's get busy. <sighs> fragrance in a second and this is hey Jennifer this is oatmeal milk and honey soap so y'all see me add the oatmeal the honey and the coconut milk and the la water and now before we add our fragrance y'all we're gonna grab our mold And I got my mixing stick because I'm going to swirl around the top. And I have, oh, I need the honey back because I'm going to put some honey on top and swirl it into the soap on the top and my honey beads. And all we doing is bringing it to a trace. And a trace means thickening. We just want to bring it to a trace. And when you're adding additives to your soap batter, it takes a little longer for your soap to trace. That's why you whip it a little longer, blend it a little longer. Now you see the natural color with the honey and the coconut milk. When you add the lye water, it turns it this beautiful light orange color. It is so pretty. But when the soap hardens up, this color is going to lighten up a lot. So it's not going to stay this color when the soap gets hard. It's going to be close to this color though. Alright now. So now we're going to pour this into our mold. And we're going to let it sit for a few minutes so it can harden up for us to decorate the top, texture the top, and put the go the honey beads on top, and the honey and the honey beads. So then we can start on our sensitive skin soap while we let this one firm up. And once we finish with the sensitive skin soap, we can come back to this one and decorate the top. Hey, Lish. So we just gonna pour, pour, pour. I might have a little extra left over for myself. I don't know. Uh-uh, cleanness. Let's wipe it up. I'm all I'm the messy soap maker, y'all. I'm always gonna have to clean something up. Always gotta clean something up. Ooh. Ooh. I feel this one. Let's move this. And wipe around the edges. Boom. So we're going to let that firm up. And then I'm going to get my little mold here that I use when I have extra that I keep for myself. Okay. So we're going to pull the rest of this up in my little flower mold here. Boom, boom, boom. y'all so while we letting these firm up we just gonna go ahead on and start on our sensitive skin and that's just how simple soap making is so we have the oil all right here already and we have the lye water and the cool thing about the sensitive skin soap is 
We not adding no color. We not adding no fragrance. We just going to pour the lye water in. And we going to put a little um, titanium dioxide, which is a natural mineral of the earth, to make it a pretty white color. And that's going to be it for this. We're going to mold this up. But we are going to sprinkle some beautiful corn flowers on top. Let me find them first. Here we go. We're going to sprinkle some beautiful corn flowers on top to decorate it. Okay. So we're going to add our lye water to this. Booyah, like that. All right, we're going to stir that around just a little bit. Then we're going to add our titanium dioxide to it to give it just a little white color. And stick your hand in the bag. Okay, now, and that's it for that. We just gonna stick blend it and pour it into the mold. Boom, boom, boom. Some pretty ripples. 
This one gonna firm up faster. The reason this one not firming up faster is because of the honey and the coconut milk in it. It takes longer. So, but with this one, I'm just gonna make some um, ripples on top real pretty. Then I'm gonna take the blue corn flowers and I'm gonna sprinkle it down the middle of it. And that is how I make my sensitive skin soap. Just that simple. It is easier to make your own soap than getting in the car, driving to the store, and going by it. Hmm, look at that. Make some ripples. The ripples. Look how pretty. It ain't ready yet. I'm just playing around in it. It needs to be much thicker. Well, it's kind of getting there. Look at that. Oh, that's done. Okay. And then I can take my hand. Let me take this glove off so I can get the flowers out. Okay. So, and then I just sprinkle straight down the middle of the ripple. just to add a little prettiness to it. These are called blue corn flowers. And it just makes it pretty, that's all. And that's it for that. That one is done. That one is done. So Miss Billy, if you're watching, this is your sensitive skin soap, all one and done. We're going to stick it in my little mini fridge so it can harden up real fast. Real fast. And I'll be able to cut it sooner. So we got that in, in the little mini fridge here. And I'm going to move it without wasting it. Boom. Move these over here because these are my personal ones. I love having leftovers for myself. Alright, so we waiting on you to firm up. So while we doing that, how are y'all doing today? Hello, Missy. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Liz. Hello, Chris. Hello, Marilyn. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Sharnan. How are y'all doing today? I'm going to put everything that I used in the kitchen sink. Take this off. Boom. My son washes all my soap dishes for me. thriving Thursday and again like I said I teach classes soap making classes body butter classes bath salt classes oil classes and I sell wholesale thanks for the love I sell wholesale so if you are a business owner or you are trying to start your own business and you are interested in selling my handmade products contact me them loads of soap that you see me just made cost $60. And you fit anywhere between. It depends on the size of the soap you want. If you want 10 ounce bars like I sell, you get 6. If you want 5 ounce bars, you get 10 out of that soap load. So this soap load is $60. And I also sell the 5 pound soap mold. And this one is $120. So with this one, if you want um, 10 ounce bars, you get 10. And if you want 5 ounce bars, you get 20. And with this one, if you want 10 ounce bars, you get 6. And if you want 5 ounce bars, you get 10. And then once you get your soap, you can put your labels on them and you can sell them for how much you want to sell them for. So 
How are y'all doing? Thank you for all the love. Thank y'all for coming over and watching my live, y'all. Okay, so we're going to pour some honey on here because it's getting thick. Just going to drizzle some honey on the top like this. And then I'm going to take my swirling baton and I'm going to swirl the honey into the soap. Like that. And when it hardens up and the soap lighten up, the honey is going to stay dark and you're going to see how pretty that's going to be. And we just going to clean up the edges, make it all neat. Clean up the edges and then we're going to put our honey beads on top. I'm going to put this, oh, I'm throw it to the side. Do, do, do. And it's just this simple making soap, y'all, and I love it. It's very therapeutic to me. Very therapeutic. And then, I'm just going to shake the honey beads down the center of the soap. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, and that's it. Okay, let me right here. That is it for that soap. Honey bee, go on road to get back on now. And that is the oatmeal milk and honey soap. So when this soap hardens up, the soap part is going to lighten up to a a light light beige and the honey is going to stay a dark brown like y'all seen my soap that I cut yesterday so that is Miss Billy's wholesale order we're going to um, put hers in the fridge too so I can harden up quick we're going to go ahead on and put hers in the fridge so it can harden up real quick And let me check Dr. Patterson's lye water, the temperature on it. Nope, his is still hot, so we don't have to wait to make his soap. And that's it, y'all. Those are two uh, two wholesale orders taken care of and done just that quick. Very easy. Once you learn how to do it and you know what you're doing, it's very easy. Not complicating at all. So what y'all think about them soaps? Hey, Dancy, I wasn't even seeing these comments. My phone tripping. Let me grab it. See, I'm thinking nobody was commenting the whole time. Y'all commenting. Let me see what y'all say. Hey, Gwen. Is Miss Billy in here? Did she see her soap being made? Let me go up. I wasn't even seeing none of these comments, honey. Okay. So Miss Billy never came in. She didn't get to see it. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Ben. Hey, Shell. Hi, Miss Tanya. I am with my babies now. Oh. Ain't that a joy to be with your babies your ch until they turn into teenagers? Once they turn into teenagers, child, please, go and play somewhere. But when they babies, yeah. Let's see. Happy Thursday. Thriving Thursday. Yes. Van say yes. Wow. So y'all think Miss Billy going to like her soap? I think she going to love it. And I'm going to cut her soap tomorrow. I'm going to try to do it on camera so she can do it. Uh, she must be busy right now. I don't know why she missed it. 
Now that's Miss Billy's wholesale order, y'all. So Gwen, I'ma do your wholesale order tomorrow. Um, you never told me what fragrance you getting, sis. What fragrance you getting? Sister Gwen Garden. What fragrance you get in your wholesale soap? And what colors do you want it to be? Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Go ahead and like my sister's comments because I appreciate every last one of y'all. What scent you get in your wholesale order and what colors your soap going to be, Gwen? I wasn't even seeing none of these comments. Boy, Facebook be tripping. They've been tripping on me since yesterday, y'all. Facebook had been having it out for me since yesterday. They was cutting my lives off. They was filtering my comments. I couldn't even play, uh, finish this phrase right because they was filtering my comments. I hope for Bible trivia. Ooh, Lord, it's 4 o'clock. Bible trivia done started, huh, y'all? All right, y'all, so let's head over to Miss Iris, uh, not Miss Iris, to, uh, Inspiration. I'm waiting on my food. I'm so hungry. We having Chinese for dinner. Ooh, yum. So, on Thursday nights, I do Bible trivia on, um, Miss, uh, Felicia page. And her page is Inspiration, uh, well, I can't never... Remember all the words to her page. What time do it start though? Let me see. Y'all make sure y'all follow. Because them Bible trivia games be so much fun y'all. Inspiration. Inspiration, motivation, encouragement by Felicia. Y'all make sure I'm a tag. Oh, there she goes. The, oh, Gwen tag. The inspiration, motivation, encouragement by Felicia. Yes, yeah, 6 p.m. Central, so it's 4 of my time. That means it's starting right now. Because it's 4 o'clock my time, so it's 6 Central, right? So we late. Y'all make sure y'all follow Inspiration, Motivation, Encouragement by Felicia. We be having so much fun at Bible Trivia, y'all. It's cutthroat. Having a blessed evening, everyone. That's good, Van. I know you enjoying your babies over there, girl. I know you are. Shoot. I hope we ain't late. So, because it started at 6 Central, so that means it's 4 o'clock my time. Let me see what she doing. No, it ain't started yet. Maybe I got the time wrong. I don't know. But we be having so much fun, y'all. It's two teams. It's uh, Garden's reality team. Gwen is a team leader. And the team I'm on is... Uh, Miss Ivory, Miss Ivory Speaks team, Team Sugar Biscuits in the house, Team Sugar Biscuits. We won last week, and I think we won the week before. Mm -hmm. Y'all, and the sub, the books um that they gonna be triviaing us on tonight is Matthew and Psalms. Do y'all know how big Psalms is? Y'all. Pray for your girl, because I was reading some chapters, but I don't know if I was reading the right chapters, you heard me, but I'm going to give it my best. I'm going to give it my best. So y'all make sure y'all following Inspiration, Motivation, Encouragement by Felicia, because y'all, if y'all not over there, y'all missing all the fun. And somebody tell Miss Billy to come watch this video so she can see her wholesale order being made. And tomorrow we're going to do a... Uh, Garden's reality, maybe not tomorrow. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Friday. It depends. Yeah, we can. Tomorrow we're gonna do Garden's reality soap. Her wholesale order tomorrow sometime. I don't know what time I'm gonna post it. So thank y'all for joining me. Um, I'm gonna just wait a little while and come back live a little later after Bible study and do Doc Patterson's order because his is real cool. He got Phoenix Nights, y'all. So I'm gonna come back after Bible study and do that soap live with y'all. 
but i love y'all happy thriving thursday thank y'all for coming chill with me over here making some soap and don't forget if you want to wholesale my products contact me or if you want to learn how to make soap or body butter or bath salt or anything that i sell contact me and i can teach you girl you can have your own business just like everybody else on here you ain't gotta go clock in no more you heard love y'all see y'all at bible study team sugar biscuit